Hey, before I get into this video, let's talk about what's probably on everybody's mind, and that is COVID-19. This video is being uploaded on April 14th, 2020, which means we are in the midst of it. We are currently hunkered down in the North Carolina mountains for the month or the unforeseeable future in hopes to explore the East Coast this summer. On that, I hope that you and your loved ones are healthy and are staying safe. Now let's get into this video. Before we get this trailer out of the garage, we needed to sand down the roof. Um, we haven't been able to do it until now because she's been on cinder blocks, sitting as high as possible in the garage so we could work on everything else. But, because it's 111 degrees outside in Arizona, I really don't want to work on sanding this roof down outside. And thank goodness I did it in the garage, because it took almost five days of sanding to get all this old sealer off. Now, in order to get her as low as possible, we put on the easy lift jacks, which are our stabilizer jacks. And they have done us well in the last eight months traveling, but I did break one in the garage trying to get her lowered. Basically, she was almost a foot off the ground in the garage, and when I started lowering her left to right, left to right, one buckled under the pressure and gave out. Thank goodness I had a spare. Now, getting her outside was interesting. And first and foremost, I needed to build a new dolly. We used six of these Harbor Freight dollies to get her into the garage, and they worked great when she was empty and lightweight. But when I tried to use them to move her into position in the garage to get her out, they buckled and broke. So I built a new dolly out of 2x4 and used the original wheels. Now, you're probably wondering why I put the jacks on before I got her outside, and the reason being is I just didn't have any way to get back underneath her in order to start lifting her up. So I needed these stabilizer jacks to be under her by the time she did go outside in order to lift her up, in order to get the axles under. The main issue we had was because the garage and the driveway are on an angle, the truck started getting lower and lower and so the rear end of the trailer started going higher and higher. So the further we got out of the garage, the higher she got and the less room we had to get her out and yes, she did hit the main beam of the garage door. So we had to constantly adjust the front of the jack, uh, the front jack, the tongue jack of the trailer in order to get her up and out, 
up and out, up and out. It, it took a while, but in the end, it actually worked pretty well. Ah. Yeah. And it is coming on my side. Go ahead. On that, this was a very short video. I apologize, the next couple ones will be short as well because it is July 10th, house is under contract and we have to be out by August 1st. So that's 20 days to get her fully sealed, painted, get all the lights installed, make sure the axles are on, the brakes are working and everything is good to go. Not to mention to pack all of our stuff and clean the house. Yeah, tall order. <laughs> so thanks for watching and hope you all are staying safe.